Morning. Yesterday, when I got back from the home, I found this in my bin outside. Now, a very kind friend um, who I met on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, said that when I said I could do after my um, video of seeing what seeds I did have and um, you know I said I'd rather shorten the flowers because I'm gardening for two homes my home and the care home so I really overwhelmed Marina thank you very much for your kind generosity um, right the first thing that came out was some fire some flower giant single then I had nasturtiums this year and the year before I've had haven't managed to germinate them or anything because I do love them and you can eat them as well I think it's just the flowers I'll have to do some search so I've got Glen mix and black velvet I do have another sunflower somewhere oh yeah sunflower um Shalan, is that how you pronounce it now I've never tried tumbling tomatoes before I mean this year I haven't been able to germinate any and I had to go and I've only got one plant but I went and got um, a plant from Sylvia down the bottom in Netton along with the courgette and so far they're looking good but this one is called Tumbling Tom Red um, attractive fruit cherry type um, patio pots and hanging baskets harvest August to October um, got some sweet corn incredible F1 so I have shown some strawberry um, sweet corn which I believe you can only make popcorn with but we'll, we'll see these might have to wait until next year and some sweet peppers mix so a variety of colours summer cropping so February to April and harvest late July to October so I might give these uh, a go. Got roughly 50 seeds in here. So they're the first things that fell out of the bag. And then I've got some annuals. Half hardy annuals and half hardy annuals again. and these you do every year I think you can save the seeds um, so and I put elastic band around them um, to keep them in place I will make a smaller label but I've got butterfly annuals because I did ask for some butterfly and bee friendly 
Um, so I can share the seeds between the home and myself. Uh, wildflower mixture. Hardy annual. And it's got some peppers and things. Um, corn flour. Just go up like that in case you didn't see. Um, be friendly calandra. And hopefully if I remember, I'll try and save the sheep. Because I watched Phoebe, um, Gregory yesterday on YouTube. And she was just planting hers with parsnips. So that they must be a good, um, and it's art shape. So that's quite good. Oops, don't know where, which one's that here. Alright. Right, can we come out a bag? So this Lupin Pixie. And I'll be doing these are. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is Marmalade. Didn't realise this one was open. Oh, and there's some more in there. Um, and Coffee Girls. So I'll put them back in there for now. So that, that's a Rebecca Marmalade. Morning Glory Choice Mix. <laughs> um, what have we got? Cosmos Sensational Mix. Half hardy annual flowers June to October. Nicotina, I've got two there. Labelia, sorry, Labelia. Sinews, I've never tried growing sinews, and that's Lassie. Post egg plant. March to October. So, um, great, well, it's for a great imperial mix. So, just quickly put the Back on that one. There, my annuals. Then I put it the right way. Then these are my perennial flowers. So now, flower next year mostly. HP stands for hardly perennial. Um, shade Lowering Woodland Mix, so that can go underneath my hedge. Um, so that's good. Wildflowers again, um, which is nice. Half, half hardy and perennial. A lovely mix, so, the, so that's good. I might put all the um, pansies, early sensation mix, for burner, Bonaneri, if I'm pronouncing it right, Rebecca, brilliant star, Fox gloves, oops, they're falling out of my hand, put them down. Uh, Fox gloves, um, Labina, Abba, sorry, 
Stefani says, baby doll. I don't think I've ever tried growing these, so, so that'll be good. Poppy Island. I have got some more poppies um, at home. Um, ballerina mix. I mean, in, in my flower thing. Um, Corpita, early sunrise. And they should. They flower June to October. So, oh, sweet Williams. I've never tried growing these, but I do love them. And it's a biannual, so I think you show it and the bees love it and then it flowers not next year, the year before. Oh. Cupid start. Good for pollen and nectar. Um, okay, I can show up to May, plant out June and flowery from August to September to October so right so depending when you show these depends when you plant them out but they look very nice antirhinums rust resistant um hollyhocks uh did quite well with them um, the holly hot, um, I think I'd already bought it as a plant, and that's Marjorie Mix. Canterbury Bells, Cup and Saucer. Never tried growing these, so we'll watch out and see how these go. Uh, Sunrise Mix by Ganesha. Postmaster again, summer selection, sensation. Rebecca again, um, half half hardy, long flowering, large bloom, perfect for in borders. And then I've got a daisy dwarf double mix. I've had the crowns before, but I've never done them from seed. So thank you very much Marina and I look forward to your herbs that are meant to be on the way.